Please stand for a moment of silence, followed by the pledge. And now, the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome back to this January 29th edition of the Daily Growl. I'm Lorelai. And I'm Kaya. Happy Puzzle Day. No, not riddles or rhymes. We mean old-fashioned puzzles that you put together. Take a break from the digital age and put together a puzzle. It's good for your brain. On this day in history, 1995, the San Francisco 49ers became the first team to win five Super Bowl titles. Maybe the Rams will win another this year. For Literacy Week, we thought it'd be cool to share a fact each day about reading. So here's today's installment. A study by the National Endowment for the Arts concluded that reading makes you engage through life. Take advantage of any activities that may spring up during your life. Read and be engaged all the time. Speaking of the interpreting type, the weather today here will be mostly cloudy with a high of 65 and a low of 39 with a 40% chance of rain. As if we didn't get enough this weekend. Stay dry, my friends. We'd like to wish a happy birthday to Emily Harvey and Canon Nab. <laughs> we hope you all have a wonderful birthday today. Yes, yearbooks are still on sale, $100. You can purchase one at yearbookordercenter.com for $100. Remember, seniors, there are only three spots remaining for senior ads. They are sold on a first-come, first-served basis. If you're interested in a senior ad, please visit yearbookorder.com in order to create your ad. Do it today. If you haven't started following us, follow us on Daily Growl TV, Instagram, and Facebook. And Jun Twitter. <laughs> oh, wait. Juniors and seniors who are interested in engineering, env environmental sciences, CAD, project management, or construction, make sure to check out the Construction Career Days field trip February 28th in Jacksonville. You will be educated, visit a trade show, and actually have the opportunity to run some big equipment. Closed heel and closed toe shoes are mandatory and lunch will be provided. See Ms. Treco for more information. Today's Celebrate Literacy Week theme is let's hunt for a good book. Hopefully you're wearing your camo and will hunt for something to read. We will be playing Kahoot in the cafeteria during lunch. Show what you know and you could win a chocolate bar. Sounds tasty. Good luck, cats. We will be celebrating literacy with karaoke on Friday, Fr February 1st during all three lunches. Sign up ahead of time during your lunch to be sure you get a spot. Also, BCHS girls still searching for the perfect prom dress are invited to say yes to the dress sponsored by Baker Prevention Coalition. Over 100 gorgeous dresses to choose from. The event will be on Friday, February 8th, 3 to 8, and Saturday, February 9th, 10 to 2. If you have a dress to donate, see Miss Wheeler in room 709. Beta Club will be selling Valentine Grants to raise money for teacher appreciation. Please see an officer or look for the lunch table. For just $1, you can brighten someone's day. Attention History Club members. The field trip to El Lusty Festival is on February 15th. If you'd like to go, see Ms. Gonzalez or Mr. Hartley. There will be a meeting for all students interested in trying out for track today in room 815. All students trying out must have a completed sports physical and participation completed and submitted to the athletic director before they can practice. Today's, basket, today's girls basketball heads to Stanton and, to the, and the boys head to Interlon. Oh. <laughs> Good luck, girls, guys and gals. Today for lunch, you have the options of crunchy chicken tenders, the big Italian meatball sub, <laughs> cheesy pizza slice, or rockin' ravioli with breadstick. That's it for today. We hope you have a linguistic, linguistic Tuesday while 